So once again, uh, welcome to a new problem. This time we have a human leg uh, that has an upper portion and a lower portion. Okay, so it's a human leg, upper portion, uh, lower portion. This is the when the leg is horizontal. So if you think about the leg placed on an uh, on an x-axis and also on a on a y-axis, uh, you get to see that you know at this point this is this is kind of like the midpoint of the upper leg. The entire leg happens to be uh, 60, 92 centimeters. Okay, so this is 92 centimeters. Uh, so this one is 23 centimeters up until the center of the upper leg, and this one also is 23 centimeters. Um, so like that. Uh, this one is also 23 centimeters. Uh, and this one too is 23 centimeters. The mass of the upper leg is given as 8.60 kilograms, and that's expected because the upper leg has more muscle, obviously, and it has more bone density. The mass of the lower leg is given as 5.25 kilograms, so that's the information uh, we're given. Uh, in part A, we want to find the... Uh, uh, we want to find the center of mass, that's X uh, and Y center of mass, when the leg is stretched horizontally, like the way it is up here. And then in the second part of the problem, that's part B, uh, there are some changes that happen. So you have, uh, you have still, you have the upper and the lower leg. Uh, this is the center, and that's the center. And so... Uh, this one is your Y, and this one uh, is your X. Uh, this distance is still given us 23. So that distance is still given us 23, even, even when the leg is folded, so it's bent uh, at the knee. So we have this distance being 23 centimeters. And this one also being 23 centimeters. When it's folded, uh, this part, this distance is uh, 23 centimeters. Uh, and then this, this distance, too, happens to be 23 uh, centimeters. So that's the information we're given. Uh, we want to find the center of mass in part A when it's horizontal. And then uh, in part B, we also want to find the center of mass uh, when it's uh, bent, uh, bent, at the knee okay so this is uh, uh we're still finding xc x uh cm and ycm so in part a as you can see uh this is the position where x is right here xcm and that happens when the value of x is zero centimeters or you could say uh, 0, uh, 0 meters if you wanted. Now to find uh, y, uh, the value of y center of mass, we have to take the formula, which is the upper, um, the mass of the upper leg times the distance of the upper leg uh, from the horizontal. So that's this distance this distance right here, and, you know, we can indicate that. So uh, this distance right here, Y upper will be 23 centimeters. And then this distance right here, uh, you know, if we could stretch it all the way, uh, we have to give it some space. So from, from this reference point at the top, from this reference point at the top up until that part, the Y law is going to be 69 centimeters, as you can see. So those are the numbers we're going to use. So Y uh, mass of upper leg times Y upper leg plus
plus mass of lower leg times y uh, lower leg all over you know the sum of the masses like that plug in the numbers 8.60 kilograms times uh, 23 centimeters uh, plus 5.25 kilograms uh, times 69 centimeters um, all that divided by uh, 8.6 kilograms plus 5.25 uh, kilograms you do the math and you're gonna end up with um, 40 point4 centimeters or we could change that to meters which is 0 0.404 uh, uh, meters so why center of mass is gonna be in the horizontal uh, it's gonna be 0 0.404 uh, meters you know that's the y center of mass uh, and the x center of mass uh, will be 0, 0.0 meters okay that's part a in part b we're bending the knee you know we're bending it and we want to see what happens uh when you bend the knee in part b and so um again uh, we're still going to use the same formulas uh, the y center of mass and the x uh, center of mass you know it, it just relative diagrams of of what's going on right here uh, so this is that's 23 centimeters that's another 23 centimeters and then this part this is uh, also 23 centimeters and this is 23 centimeters so we're bending it we're bending it uh, so to get the y center of mass again we invoke the same formulas the the mass of the upper leg and then the y of the upper leg uh, plus the mass of the lower leg and the y of the lower leg over the sum of the masses and when we plug in the numbers we get 8.6 kilograms uh, times now this distance is going to be zero centimeters and the reason for that is because at this level the value of y uh, upper equals to zero centimeters um, and then plus uh, 5.25 kilograms uh, times 23 centimeters uh, that's for the lower leg and you can see it's still uh, the same uh, the distance for the lower leg is 23 centimeters that's from uh, the measurement of the center of mass of the upper leg and then we're dividing all of that by the masses 8.6 kilograms um, plus 5.25 kilograms uh, and that's going to give us 8.7 centimeters or if you change into meters 0 0.0 uh, 0 8 7 uh, centimeters now here's the deal this one you can think of it as a minus if you want to because it's dipping downwards so the whole thing becomes a minus that simply means that uh, um, y center of mass happens to be 0 0.087 centimeters below the um uh, the hip okay so it's dipping it's dipping downwards uh, that's what it means the last part of the problem we have to deal with the x and we're going to do that on the next page uh, we still have you know the same similar scenario this is 23 centimeters uh, this is the center of mass for the upper leg this is also 23 uh, centimeters 
that's the y-axis, that's the x-axis, this distance from the origin, when x equals to 0 centimeters, this distance happens to be 23 centimeters, and this other distance also happens to be 23 uh, centimeters. So that's the information we're given. Uh, this time we're going to find uh, the center of mass for... Um, uh, for the uh, for this leg, you know, we're going to find the center of mass for this leg, and it's equivalent to the mass of the upper leg uh, times x of the upper leg. Uh, remember, the x distance of the upper leg, as you can see, happens to be. Uh, 23 centimeters and then plus mass of the lower leg uh, times x distance of the lower leg uh, x distance of the lower leg is this entire distance right here and that's going to be x lower it gives us on the x along the x gives us 46 centimeters uh, and then we divide that by mass of upper leg plus mass of lower leg uh, we pi uh, plug in the numbers, we get 8.6 um, kilograms uh, times 23 centimeters plus 5.25 kilograms times 46 centimeters uh, all over uh, 8.6 kilograms plus 5.25 uh, kilograms and that's going to give us an x center of mass of approximately 31.7 centimeters we can change that to meters 0 0.317 meters uh, and that simply means that th th that's a displacement uh, horizontal displacement horizontal uh, distance from the hip. Hope you enjoyed the problem. This was a problem about cent center of mass. Uh, we wanted to find the uh, the x center of mass and the y center of mass. We first did it when it was horizontal, so we got uh, zero meters and zero point four zero four meters. And then we went on and bent the knee and uh, and got the y center of mass for that as uh, 0 0.087 meters uh or, or rather this is meters sorry this one is meters uh, you have to remember that not centimeters this one is meters you gotta be careful with the units also uh, so don't forget that easy to make mistakes sometimes so this one is uh meters that's meters that's along the y center of mass and and then also uh the x center of mass you could see we found it to be uh 0 0.317 meters hope you enjoy the problem feel free to ask any questions and you can send comments uh, and have a wonderful day okay thanks bye